Once upon a time, there was a jolly old bear who lived in a cave in a deep brown woods. He was a hospitable fellow whose special joy was to entertain his friends. All summer long, he had picnics and cookouts, but that time is long past. Now there's a chill in the air. Oh, it's really cold outside. I can't seem to stop shivering. <laughs> that must mean it's time for my long winter nap. As my dear mother told me when I was no bigger than an average size regulation teddy bear. When winter comes, you, my son, must hibernate. Oh, I love, love that word. Hibernate. 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 Hey, can you say that word? Say it. Hibernate. Very, very good. I bet you already know that hibernate is just a fancy word that means sleep all winter. But first, my favorite holiday is coming up. Can you guess what it is? It's Thanksgiving. It's time for me to start planning the dinner. And I guess I better remind my friends that I'm expecting them as usual. Rabbit's house is just around the corner. I'll invite her first. Rabbit, are you home? Oh, hello there, Bear. What's new? I just stopped by to remind you that Thanksgiving is coming up soon. So, I'll be expecting you to come to my place as usual. Oh dear, I'm really sorry, Bear, but I can't come this year. Can't come? But you always, always come to my house on Thanksgiving. I know, I have in the past years, but this year my relatives invited me. We haven't had a get together in a very long time. And as you know, I come from a very, very large family. Brothers, sisters, cousins, all by the dozens. Not to mention Ma and Pa, plus oodles of aunts and uncles. Yes, I know, I know. You're very lucky to have such a wonderful, super-sized family. But my party won't be the same without you. Oh, I'm truly sorry, Bear. Maybe next year. All right, I hope so. Well, goodbye, Rabbit. Goodbye, Bear. Oh, well, I better stop in at Goat's house. It's not far. Goat? Goat, are you home? Goat? Hello, Bear. Are you getting ready for your winter sleep? Yes, that's coming up soon. But first, Thanksgiving is just a few days away, and I'm inviting you to come to my house for dinner as usual. Oh, sorry, Bear. Not this year. the trouble. I've been too good an eater for too long a time and now I have to go on a diet. A diet? Oh no, not on Thanksgiving. That's awful. I couldn't agree more, but it's the doctor's orders. So while you're going to enjoy your turkey plus all the trimmings, I'll be here with a tiny bit of fish or a salad with no dressing. Oh, that's too bad, goat. Maybe next year will be different. Well... I better be on my way. Goodbye. Goodbye. I, Bye. I guess I won't see you till spring. Bye, Bear. Oh, this is a fine state of affairs. It looks as if I might be cooking for two this year. Oh, surely Fox will come to my house for Thanksgiving. Well, there's no better time like the present to find out. Luckily, Fox Den is nearby. Fox! Fox! Are you home? Hi, Bear. How are you doing today? Well, uh, I feel all right, but I'm so upset because I've just been to rabbit and to goat. And you know what they told me? No, what did they tell you? They said they were coming to my house for Thanksgiving dinner this year. Can you believe it? Both of them refused my invitation and they should know that I would be expecting them as usual. They should have known that. Uh-oh. What's the matter? What's the matter, Fox? Please, please don't tell me you're not coming either. 
I'm so sorry, Bear, but I promised myself that I wouldn't have dinner at your house again until you came by my house to eat. I've been to your place 10 times in a row and you haven't been here at all. So that's why I promised myself no more meals at Bear's this year. But it's Thanksgiving. You always, 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 always come to my house on Thanksgiving. It's been a tradition. That's a silly promise you made yourself. Silly or not, it's a promise is a promise. Surely you wouldn't want me to break a promise, not even one that I made to myself. I guess not. But since rabbit and goat aren't coming either, Thanksgiving is just going to be awful. Just, just awful. Oh, I'm so depressed. Oh. Bear, I'm really sorry. I really am. I asked you to come here, but I'm right in the middle of my fall house cleaning. My den is a mess. We couldn't even sit down in all the clutter. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I understand. <sighs> now, come on, Bear. Cheer up. You're the best cook I know. And besides, being the best cook, you're also the best eater. You can certainly polish off that whole turkey feast to yourself. No, I certainly won't be cooking a holiday dinner this year. It just wouldn't be the same since there won't be anyone to share it with. I'll probably just eat a peanut butter sandwich and then I'll settle down to hibernate. Goodbye, Fox. Bye, Bear. See you next spring. Poor Bear. He trudged back to his cave. Thanksgiving, which had always been his favorite holiday, no longer seemed special. He settled down for a short nap. After all, it doesn't take much time to make a peanut butter sandwich. On Thursday afternoon, he roused himself. <sighs> well, it's that time for my Thanksgiving dinner. So no, so because no one else is going to be here to share it with, I'm, I'm certainly not going to expect to enjoy myself. A sandwich will be more than enough. I'm sure I have a jar of peanut butter swept somewhere and a slice or two of dried up bread. If I'm lucky, I might even find a drop of honey or perhaps a tiny scrape of jelly stuck to the bottom of a jar. <laughs> I guess I should be grateful for that much. Well, that's enough of feeling sorry for myself. I'll look to see what I can find. What, 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 what? Did you hear that? I, I hear noises outside. Who could that be? Who's there and what do you want? Surprise, bear. I brought a turkey and I cooked it just the way you like it. Let me go grab it. What? I think I'm going to have company. Oh, do you hear that? I think somebody else might be here. Oh, who could that be? Who could that be? Oh, I wonder, I wonder. Hi, I came too. And I brought a pumpkin pie. It's just right outside. Let me go grab it. Oh, here's my pumpkin pie. Oh, who's there? Who's there? It's me. Oh, rabbit. Oh, and I brought something too. I brought cranberries. Hold on. Let me go get them. Happy Thanksgiving, Bear. Happy Thanksgiving, Bear. I don't know what to say. Bear, my friend, you have entertained us all so many times for Thanksgiving dinners. This year we decided that we would go do the work for you. Are you surprised? Surprised? I'm overwhelmed. In that case, we are. what are we waiting for? Let's eat. As you all know, we have good appetites. Wait, wait. First, we must remember, this is a time to give thanks. You hear? We have to give thanks. Fox, goat, rabbit, I want you all to know that I am very grateful for the food you brought today. I know everything will be delicious, but most important of all, I'm thankful for such wonderful friends. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. The, the end. end.